We're back here inside the Plaza, game two of this four-game series between Sacramento and Albuquerque. Tonight, the isotopes transform to the Mariachis de Nuevo Mexico. And as we continue with the Bank of the West on Deck show, we're joined now by Paul Caputo. He writes for sportslogos.net. He's written a book called The Story Behind the Nickname, so he is the perfect expert to talk about this transformation. Paul, let me ask you, starting by this, when you see a new logo, what do you analyze first? Well, the first thing I'm looking for is a connection to the local community. Um, that's the thing I want to say. I mean, you want it to be visually appealing, which the, the Mariachi's logo is fantastic in that regard. Um, but I, w with every new identity, the temporary ones, the permanent changes, I really want something to have a connection to the local community. So when you see Mariachi's, both the story behind it and also the actual design, what stands out to you as an expert in this? Well, the first thing that I noticed is that it's a little bit complicated in terms of the, Mari the, the name Mariachi's, the connection to the sort of Day of the Dead themed visual brand, uh, both of them obviously relating to Mexico. Uh, but to me, you know, I really liked the way they made that, that sort of nuanced connection between, okay, the Mariachi's name is fun, it's interesting, it's going to be a great atmosphere here tonight, and then the Day of the Dead connection with the, the visual brand, the, the, the Katrine skull. Uh, I think it's a fantastic connection. I think it's, it's visually appealing. It's edgy. Obviously, there's a connection to New Mexico. Uh, so to me, the, this is, this is, there's a reason that this has been one of the more successful temporary brands. Well, there's a lot of different teams in all a lot of different sports that are giving you a lot to write about. What do you make just big picture about so many teams transforming themselves for a night or for a few nights? I think it's definitely the way minor league baseball is going. I mean, if you looked at, you know, if you look at the trends in minor league baseball, it starts with, you know, the teams are, they're just there as farm clubs. They exist so that, you know, they can be called the, the such and such Cubs, the such and such Tigers, whatever. Um, and then brands, the, these teams, they start noticing that, hey, if we call ourselves something different, we can maybe sell a little bit extra merchandise and we can maybe connect to the community. And so, you know, you get the bulls, you get the mud hens. Um, and then, you know, it just sort of escalated from there, uh, I think, that it got a little more interesting. It got a little uh, sort of more off the wall. You start getting New Orleans baby cakes. You start getting El Paso chihuahuas. You start getting Akron rubber ducks, Lehigh Valley iron pigs. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. So the trend was not just to be different from what we were before, but crazier than anything that was ever out there before with any minor league team. And now that trend has even transcended you know, we're going to be a really crazy name, but we're going to be a different crazy name every weekend, almost, it seems. Um, and so I think with minor league baseball, that's really where we've ended up now. Right now, we're entrenched in this trend of the temporary rebrands. Uh, and I think it's great. I think it's totally fun. And listen, I was in the team store for 20 minutes earlier and dropped 150 bucks. So, so you know, I'm not immune to it. Cha-ching! This is the Bank of the West on Deck Show. We're visiting with Paul Caputo from SportsLogos.net. And again, he wrote a book called The Story Behind the Nickname. What made you decide to want to follow this beat to write about this, write books about this, and now do videos about this? To be honest, uh, I'm a Phillies fan. And when I, in 2008, when their AAA team became the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs, I thought, what's that about? You know, what's, what's an Iron Pig? And I researched it a little bit. Eastern Pennsylvania, obviously, they've got the steel mills there. They forge pig iron. Pig iron, you invert it, you get the iron pigs. And I thought, that's interesting. And as the Phillies' fortunes declined, I needed somewhere to expend my, my, my baseball fandom energy. Uh, and I started looking at these new teams as they were coming up. Uh, and wondering what is the connection and so I would call the teams I would talk to the designers and I and I said you know why why are you guys called what you're called and uh, there was always an interesting story I've learned more about small town America by interviewing uh, front office personnel designers uh, players about why minor league teams are called what they're called and it's been a really fascinating exercise for me and so the book has a hundred different articles in it and each one is a different you know sort of amazing thing that I learned about small town America one of the things I love about baseball is how much it helps you learn the story of America. Yeah. So we're doing this radio interview. Meanwhile, you're also videoing us. Uh, tell us what you're doing video-wise and what people can look for with some of these stories on YouTube. Well, this is the first one. So this is, uh, this is a new adventure just to sort of find a new way to tell these stories. When I wrote the article about the isotopes, uh, it was 2014. 
Um, and so with what I've learned about minor league baseball and with the different media out there that are available, uh, not necessarily to promote, but to tell the stories, we, we've decided that we want to talk to fans, we want to talk to players, we want to talk to front office personnel uh, on screen uh, and so that we can have that sort of visual element as well as saying, you know, here's, here are these, these identities in action. All right, Paul, thanks so much for your time. Welcome to Albuquerque and enjoy yourself tonight. Thank you, Josh. I'm looking forward to it. Still more to get to on the Bank of the West on Deck show. When we come back, we'll look around the Rockies organization. Inside the Rockies is next. This is Isotopes Baseball and Mariachis Baseball on 95.9 FM and AM 610, the Sports Animal.